Welcome to the Awkward Zoo. I'm Randy, and we're going to be talking about all the cards revealed you know, that I could find right, in Disney's Lorcana. Uh, and this is from social media accounts, so their Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and they sometimes do um, different reveals on those. those. Um, I mostly follow the Instagram account, so every now and then I'll check at the Twitter and Facebook the page to see if anything different shows up nope. as well as even news outlets get special re chances to reveal cards and then they go to expos and they reveal cards there and so this is kind of all what I could find throughout the internet and of what's been revealed what's been released so far they're in no particular order here. Um, so yeah let's get to it Okay, starting off, we have the action cards. Uh, there's Dragon Fire and Healing Glow. And I've also noticed, looking at the cards side by side like this, is that some cards have a very simple, oh, um, what we're going to say, cost um, as of now, because we're st still not sure. Here, but. Yeah, simple kind of cost design, like Dragonfire in his upper left corner. There's very, just a border versus um, Healing Glow in its left corner has this kind of spiral kind of flourish that goes around the, around the border. Um, and I've been kind of thinking like, why is there this differentiation? Um, and you see this in other cards as well. At first, I thought it had to do with um, villain and like heroes and kind of like separating them a little bit in, in design. Um, but that is not true because you get a lot of the character cards have this kind of spiral design on them, um, whether they're villain or hero. And so um, that kind of got debunked um, <laughs> real quickly for me. Uh, but yeah, I'm interested to learn more of like why there is this di differentiation um, between the, the card cost, essentially. Um, and then we have the items. Um, White Rabbit's Pocket Watch, Magic Mirror, there's been two rebuilds so far, and yeah, same thing here. There's the two different designs in the top left corner. Here, and then we have the D23 um, reveal cards. These are the first cards that were revealed. Well, then they're going to be in the set. Yeah, they just won't have the stamp on the bottom saying D23. But they're going to all be in the set. Yeah, we have Mickey Mouse, Brave Little Taylor, here, Maleficent, Monstrous Dragon, and Stitch, a rock star who is a floodborn with the shift ability, um, which is characteristic of the floodborn. Um, and if you want to learn more about that, uh, there's a video about the story, the lore of Lorcana that you can go back and watch, um, which doesn't really explain much about the Floodborn because they're kind of keeping that a secret for now. Um, and then we have Elsa, Snow Queen, Captain Hook, Forceful Duelist, Robin Hood, Unrivaled Archer, and then Cruella de Vil, so miserable at usual. And this is the same Cruella that is pictured on the starter deck yeah, with Aladdin. And, and so uh, I believe that the starter deck doesn't have unique cards in it. And they're all, all cards that can be gotten from the booster packs and so all the starter deck really is is just a pre-constructed deck ready to go and gives you a guaranteed foil of 
who's on the cover and then as well as as tokens so the lore tracker token and the damage tokens and and so and so that and so is it worth um if you're going to be collecting the cards there's i don't think it's worth getting the starter decks in that case if there is no unique cards in the starter deck there's no you don't you don't really need to buy it for collecting purposes but i believe it's a great start if you're going to be playing the game right because it gives you tokens um special tokens and to use for the game i mean as well as as guaranteed foil cards and if you want to foil a cruella de vil instead of you know trying by chance to get the random one foil to be cruella de vil um because well, we don't know what the rarities are and but but this is a great way to to automatically get that foil card um so but from like a collecting standpoint there's no point unless there are or like any unique um special cards in there or outside of the set but moving on so here's been one was released so far on social media we have Olaf, the Friendly Snowman, Scar, Mastermind. I believe this was Twitter only. Um, and then the Wardrobe, Bell's con Confident, Confident, Confident? Confident sounds better. I think that's the right word here. Um, <laughs> And I believe this was a uh, Instagram only re reveal, uh, and then Aladdin Prince Ali, which was a Facebook only reveal. And then we have Jumba, uh, Jabuki, the Renegade Scientist, and then we have the reveals for the gift set. Um, Hades, King of Olympus, who is a Floodborn with the shift ability. And I believe the only character so far that has the simple background or the simple border as the cost um, in the upper left hand corner. Um, I'm not 100% on that, but uh, this is one of the few character cards that have a simple background so far and then we have Mulan an imperial soldier and then kind of the last card to be revealed was Gantu the Galactic Federation captain and then um, to like kind of press and news they have revealed uh, Tinkerbell the tiny tactician and um, this was noted when, when I was talking about the release date they also revealed Tinkerbell and my other news and articles pop have popped up revealing Tinkerbell oh, and then at the expo the Nuremberg toy fair they revealed aurora the dreamy guardian and she is also a floodboard with the shift mechanic and this is the same aurora on the starter deck deck and so again talk, saying the same thing about cruella uh, um, I believe the starter decks aren't unique decks. It doesn't even say that there's unique cards in them, um, but they're pre-constructed decks, okay, so that give you a little extra stuff. Okay, so yeah, and that's all the cards so far that I have found that have been revealed. You know, there could be some 
other articles that revealed um, a special card. Who knows? But as of right now, this is all that I could find. Um, let me know what you think about the starter decks. Um, is, do you want them to be unique cards um, apart from this set? Or is it, it cool that they are not um, unique cards? Because I know Bondi uh, his starter decks are are unique cards as for their Digimon and One Piece news and then not too sure about Battle of Spirits. I haven't been keeping up with that news news as much. Much and then Bondi for sure, the starter decks are unique cards outside of this set. And, um, so yeah, where was I going with this? Oh yeah. So let me know what you think. Um, is it, it cool that the starter decks aren't unique cards? And, cards, or does that frustrate you from a collecting standpoint? Like, because as they aren't um, or is it better from a collecting standpoint because you don't need to buy the starter decks you can just buy the booster packs um, so yeah let me know in the comments and I will see y'all next time bye